All right, water's edge, bait and tackle. Just got us some medium shrimps. We got one giant jumbo in there, like a hand pick. So that's a medium, regular size. Going for snook today. It's a Shimano Saragossa, 10,000 to eight foot St. Croix and Avid Pro inshore. With the broken guide. And I smashed in my door jam a few months ago. So let's get to the docks. Get us a snook. Water looks semi clear. It's really muddy over here. Little baby snook. Oh, he just got off. Here's the biggest shrimp we got. I'm gonna give him a good time down here. Hopefully a jack doesn't eat him. Big snook. Not a keeper though. Almost. Right. Can measure him. Yeah, he's like 22. He would be longer, but look at his tail. It's like all chewed up. Oh my gosh. Dolphin must have got him. So how come those people at the inlet were too big? We're big enough. Oh babe, look at him. Oh, it's a big snook. He came he scared the shrimp up to the top. Yeah, he was like literally right at the top. Look at the shrimp. He doesn't want to go down. Oh, he's sitting right under him. A big ass don't don't walk over there. Big ass snook. Just you're good. Got a shrimp. Send him down. Our drag's tight enough. Ten. Yeah, just under. Ten. No, he's nine. Drop it quick. No, Cameron. Let me get it done for you. You're gonna snag a bird. He's like, I'm not messing with them anymore. <laughs> yeah, just just actually hold it tight and just set the hook like you normally would. Just try that. You got something. Oh, 
you can catch it, I'll give it to you. You got something, dude. Oh, no, but you missed him. Baby snook. That's a fat snook. It's a small scale fat snook. It's cool. Still too small. Oh no, buddy. What are you doing? Get out of here. He might be big enough, maybe. He looks like he's like 26. No. He's no. still too small. It's another fat snook. Yeah, he's like twenty. Is this no, that's what is that? So like twenty two, twenty one. So it has to be this big? Yep. A little bit bigger, just a little bit. Because I was only going to be fishing by myself. I think I got one. Yep. That's a normal snook. Huh? They just look different. Yeah, this is a common snook. Because he's going, he's scared of something. He's swimming that way. Well, he was going around the piling. That's the problem. Let him go, let him go. I'll set the hook. No, no, it's not like you set the hook. Let it go. Let it go. I'll set the hook, set the hook. Set the hook. Oh, you lost him. No? You got him. Nice job, babe. He bit my hand. He did? Yeah. <laughs> They're just gonna eat him. Cameron caught her first. Snook. Are you satisfied now you caught one? <laughs> I kicked him. The one that bit me, I like side kicked him. Oh, there's one. Oh, this is a bigger one. Oh no! That's a bigger one. 
I don't think he's big enough, but I'll take it easy on him. We'll see. Might be big enough. We'll see. No, he's like 25. Really? Maybe 24. Here, in the mushroom. Actually, maybe not. Maybe less. Yeah, he's like 23. Big ones around probably. If you spend enough time, you'll get one. It's just like depending on if you're ready or not. Like I've had really big ones, and they just take your stuff. Like you lose them somehow. You caught a snook. I caught a snook. You caught a snapper. baby snapper and then he didn't get fed to the birds unlike mine <laughs> if you ever want to get bait go to this bait shop in port canaveral beautiful location great food i used to work here it is a great tackle store too they have great shrimp good bait filler crabs everything go check them out water's edge cafe and tackle have a great day and hope you enjoy this video.